Welcome back to Brotherhood Finance. So you want to short the stock market. You don't really know where to start. What does shorting the market entail? You know that the markets aren't doing very well. You've watched some of our content and we have called that there's going to be a recession and that we're already in a recession. You want to capitalize. You want to learn more about this. Well, I'm happy you stopped by today here at Brotherhood Finance. I am your host, Brendan. Today, I'm going to be breaking down all the information that I just addressed. Before we dive into that, there is a bigger problem. Yes, a bigger problem. That is that you have not smashed the thumbs up button down below or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to leave a comment. Do you think the markets are going down? Do you think they're going up? Where do you see the markets? Furthermore, let's dive into this action-packed video. Make sure to stay tuned for all the information and all the current ETFs and stocks that I look for when I'm shorting the market. Anyways, let's dive into this right now, brothers. All right, so first off, there's about three reasons why you'd want to short sell in the market. And the first one is to profit in a bearish market, as I just addressed. Without short selling, it can be very difficult to make money in a downward market. The second one can be to hedge the downside risk of a long position in the same security or related one with short positions. And then the third one is, you're just really good at analyzing businesses. You can see where they're going. Maybe they don't have a lot of cash, maybe not liquidity on hand. You don't think they're gonna do very well, and you're good at finding companies where something is going wrong, which you will believe will eventually result in a decrease in the stock or the asset of that business model. Now, let's talk about, first off, what to do in a bear market to increase your return on investment. Now, there's only a couple things that you can do, but in the bear market, the best opportunities are available. As everyone is selling, you are able to deploy capital that you've saved during the bull market to increase your return on investment, or you're also able to do what we just talked about, and that is bet against the market itself, and you can do that through ETFs or just shorting the market in general. Now, as I said, there's about two ways, and we just addressed the first one, and the other one is shorting the market. Now, when I'm talking about shorting the market, you have to understand that there is great risk that correlates to doing this. You need a lot of experience, you need to know what you're doing, and it also does involve some timing. If you really study some of the people that shorted the market, like Michael Berry, he was you know, very well known, and he was very knowledgeable, and he shorted the housing market. If you haven't watched that movie, you should go watch The Big Short. It is a great movie, and it really breaks down you know, how to short and his story. But some other examples of shorting the market are ticker symbols SQQQ, SDS, TZA, and TBT. Now, actually, TBT is Michael Burry's um, pretty much favorite one to short, and that actually has to do with the treasury. So every time that they continue to raise interest rates, that actually does the inverse, and it actually goes up. That's actually one that I personally hold myself. Again, though, with this in mind, brothers, again, know that there is risk. You need to know what you're doing. You should probably be trading on a platform like Fidelity or Ameritrade or something like that. That's not going to have a high expense ratio. And again, just make sure you're informed and don't over bet. Don't over leverage. Again, this is financial education, not advice. Now, next up. If you look at some of these slides here, you're going to see when you look up like SPXS, when you look up like TBT, DRV, the DRV is one to short the housing market. You're going to find that if you go to max at all time, they're all down 99.99%. And that is because these have a sh uh, pretty much a short ratio in them. What I mean by that is they have a short ratio or an expense ratio where over time the asset will continually just go down. But if you go back to when the markets actually took a financial hit, you will see that they are substantially higher than the current price acquisition today. And that is because, again, these are opposition. So when the market is going up, they will do bad. When the market is going down, they will do very well. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and bet all your money, but I'm just kind of giving you some input and some feedback on my thought process and some of my favorite ones to actually go through with the process itself. Now, again, this is DRV. If you want to short the housing market, I do believe the housing market's in a bubble. If you had not checked out our other video on what I think is going to happen to the housing market or the recession is here with the other owner of Brotherhood Finance, Cole Nichter. Go check that out. Again, the recession is here. One of our best podcasts. We break down everything, how to prepare, what to do. It's very imperative that you can do all of those things to really increase your return on investment and get ahead financially. And one of the best opportunities in general. You have to understand, brothers, that the opportunity that we're going to be presented here in the next coming months to next year, two years, it's going to be tremendously 
one of the best opportunities we're ever gonna have. And that is because they only happen about every eight to 10 years. And this one has actually been even further extended. So I think it's gonna be even more of a crash than most people anticipate. But I'm excited to see, you know, the future growth after the, you know, kind of the recession hits and things get worse because there's gonna be a lot of opportunities available. And one of the opportunities is what we're breaking down right now. It is actually shorting the markets itself. But again, you need to have experience and knowledge. And we actually cover this stuff even more extensively in investing university at Brotherhood Finance. Again, we have some courses that we break down all this stuff and I really break down in how to do it, how to do it properly. All that stuff is included in our course at brotherhoodfinance.com. Enough me plugging that stuff. Let's dive right back into the video. Now, one of the first ones I covered was SQQQ. This is one of the main ones used in the whole market in the equities market for sure in the market. Uh, the largest inverse ETF by assets under management at present is SQQQ, as I just said. With roughly $4 billion in assets, it's linked to the NASDAQ 100 index of the largest stocks on this tech-heavy exchange. But keep in mind, it's also a leveraged fund. Now again, all these that I'm covering, DRV, TBT, SPXS, SQQQ, these are all leveraged funds and they're ETFs, so keep that in mind. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're keeping track of them and they're probably gonna have an expense ratio too. That's why you have to time it correctly. But if you read right here, it doesn't always line with long-term performance. But year to date, SQQ is up 80% as of writing this compared with a roughly 27 decline for the index it tracks. Again, that is because roughly, you're gonna get about three times on these inverse leveraged ETFs. So if you do it correctly, you can make substantial amount of money. But again, you need to have the right education and you need to know what to look for. And me breaking this down hopefully helps you. Now, going back to Michael Burry. We are addressed Michael Burry. We've already said that he's called that there's gonna be a crash as well. You have all these people, Robert Kiyosaki, Dan Pena, even Grant Cardone, if you follow Grant Cardone, he covered it. He said there's gonna be some opportunities available in the next coming months to years. I agree and I couldn't agree anymore. And we've called this about nine, 10 months ago. So if you're not staying around for our content, you need to stick around for it. You know, we're going over the basis and we're going over the things that are actually gonna help you achieve financial freedom. Now, ProShares Ultra Short 20 plus year treasury. This is what I talked about before, TBT. This is one of the two of the only shorts in the market I currently have. Again, this is a ProShares Ultra Short 20 plus year treasury. Anytime the interest rates go up, this actually goes up as well. It's an inverse. I believe they're gonna have to continue to raise interest rates. I think the economy is gonna continue to slump. You know, we're already seeing it in the car market. And you know, let's just say you're gonna see a lot of things change in the next coming months, in my opinion. Now again, DRV, we talked about this. This actually shorts the housing market. It's a 3X opposition. So again, very volatile. You're gonna notice a lot of these are very volatile if you buy them. But at the end of the day, you can make a lot of money if you do them correctly. If you have any comments so far, if you stuck around, please make sure to leave them down below. And again, please make sure you smash. Smashing is very imperative. And subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not already done so. Leave a comment. What do you want me to cover next, brothers? I really like to know what do you guys like me to go over and address. Anyways, brothers, that is most of this video. Again, DRV, TBT, SPXS, and SQQQ. Those are my favorite. The only two that I currently have right now are TBT and DRV. Invest at your own risk. Be cautious. Do a little bit more research on these. I wanted to get on here. I haven't seen anyone else make content about shoring the market. So I hope you found value in this. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for stopping by as always. Much love, brothers. Peace.